，台湾经过三十年的淬炼呢、啊，它正在散发非常优质的投资的前景。今年各位可以了解，台湾的台积电呢能够涨幅超过四成以上，联发科啊涨幅超过九成以上。我相信这是一个在台湾的产业的脉动当中啊，它出现一个非常巨大的转折点。这些台商回来投资，其实是我们这些企业自己跟我们讲的。他说，这么多企业回来，而且都是会往高值、高值化去生产。他说，这个对台湾未来二十年、三十年的，对我们台湾的产业发展是非常非常重要的。好、哦，它变成是让我们台湾变成在亚洲，大家就会想到，这是一个非常好的供应链的地方。Do I know exactly where and when? No, 1,500 years is completely unpredictable in terms of details. But it'll happen. And when it happens, it happens through businesses that develop new things. And those new things get priced into markets irregularly over time with the success of the things that businesses do, with the markets tending to pre-price the successes to a significant extent. In that process, owning equities, whether passively or actively, is a great way to participate in the benefits that humanity, fundamental, and I should have said this earlier, but I did not, fundamental to analyzing companies, the first step you should always do is look at what the gross operating profit margin of the company is, not the net margin, the gross operating profit. Sales minus cost of goods sold. What's left? That pays for the future. Always think in terms of timing before you think of anything else. When you look at a company, is this a fat gross margin company or a thin gross margin company? It's the best single guide I can give you relative to cycles of where to put stocks categorically. You find a that there's statistically a zero correlation coefficient between price earnings ratio and returns, which tells you that there cannot be any meaningful relationship. And number two, in parallel to that, said a different way, from every level of PE, there are the same number of proportionately bad years as good years. That's a statement people don't want to believe. You follow? Whenever you can find something that you can measure that people don't want to believe, it's good.